Hey, how's it going? Today I want to share with you a couple of really cool old caps. This is an interesting one to start with because it's such an early one. It's called the Pillbox Hat, another immensely popular hat. Pillbox, uh, obviously because of its design. Connie Max Athletics probably made this hat famous back in the day. He had a lot of championship teams and every picture you saw of the athletics, they were wearing hats exactly like this. And they actually made a comeback in the 1970s to celebrate the bicentennial of baseball. A lot of teams wore them and the Pittsburgh Pirates were probably the most famous. If you picture Dave Parker, you've probably seen Willie Stargell wearing one. They have the stripes that encircle the whole hat and they're tall and kind of like a, I guess, like a pillbox. Not, not a Jackie O pillbox, but... <laughs> <laughs> a mailbox with a brim on it. Other teams did it too, but the Pirates are the ones who are best known for it. And now we have a Boston style hat. Uh, I've seen very few examples of this. And what makes it a Boston style is the puffy design of it. It almost looks like a, like a beret or a newsboy hat back in the day. Kind of that droopy floppy style. Very few hats had, but it was marketed as a Boston style, so I imagine it was popularized in Boston back before the turn of the century. Lastly, we have a pinstripe short brim cap. This is pretty much the typical cap of the 1920s and 30s. If you've seen pictures of Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig, they're wearing this exact style of hat. Now, oftentimes these hats would be customized to match the uniform. I actually picked this one up along with the uniform, which had the same exact pinstripes on it. So they were very chic back then and color coordinated with the hats even matching the uniforms. And this is just a kind of a quintessential cap to have in the collection because uh, it spanned the late teens through about the late 30s.